Good evening, I'm Paris Hilton. Now before we go any further, that is completely untrue. I'm not really Paris Hilton at all. Be honest though, I had many of you fooled there for a moment, didn't I? That is because in my job, I'm specially trained in the art of telling lies. No madam, it's not another party political broadcast, so what is it I do? Well, what I'm about to tell you tonight is, of course, incredibly secret. Ever so secret, so you must listen very carefully, and when I've said it, memorise it completely, and then forget it, and then eat the television set. In the secret organisation I work for, all identities, for security purposes, have to be kept strictly confidential. For instance, I haven't the faintest idea who I am, nor do I know what my job is. When I drive myself home from work, I have to wear a blindfold so I don't find out where I live. Now, this all-pervading secrecy over names could, of course, be very harmful to the normal smooth running of whatever it is we do in our department. So, in order that we may have something to call each other, we simply stick pins at random into a phone book. And my name is Slemberland Quilts, but that's just a cover. Now, when I joined the highly secret organisation to which I now belong, I had to, first of all, sign the Official Secrets Act. This means that I agreed to be bound by the articles, which is much worse than being bound by the hands and feet. Now, Official Secrets. I'm sorry to say that in Britain today, we have very few of these left. So if you've got any secrets you don't need anymore, please send them straight away to me at this address, which, of course, must remain a secret. Now, one of the most interesting things about my job is the equipment some of us has to use. Here, for instance, is a bottle of invisible ink. Oh dear, it's empty. Mm. Now, what about ballpoints? Well, we never wore them. Now, what is the best way to bug a phone? Well, ring it and run away. That really bugs them. And of course, there are also devices for countering bugs. In Britain today, we have now developed a foolproof system for jamming virtually any telephone calls anywhere in the country. It's known as the phone company. And of course, for sports fans, there is always this. A Manchester United supporter. Now, disguise too is important. A colleague of mine, Sir Catford Public Library, is an absolute wizard in the art of disguise. In fact, I'd like to introduce you to him now. Uncanny. He's wonderful at impersonating mechanical devices. You should see his typewriter. And here's another of him and I and a secret mission in Argentina. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. Like I said last night when the boss asked me what I made of his new secretary, mom's the word. Good night.